Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala rasulina Is it better for a person to recite from a device or from the mushaf? Now the majority of the ulama from the companions and the salaf that came after them are of the view that when you recite the Qur'an you are doing a good deed and it is an act of worship but when you recite from the mushaf this is a separate act of worship and so that the mushaf is not abandoned it is better for a person to recite from the mushaf even if he has memorized the Qur'an even if he knows it by heart even if he knows everything here it is better for him to recite from the mushaf to the point that Hassan al-Basri he said the best of us, even when they used to lead the salah, obviously when it comes to oppositional prayers, taraweeh, tahajjud, etc. When they used to lead the salah, they used to do it from the mushaf. This is despite the fact that they've memorized the Quran, but they used to do it from the mushaf. And this is why some of the ulama have said, you know, the ayah in Surah al furqan that the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu will come on the Day of Judgment. And Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala says, وَقَالُ الرَّسُولُ يَا رَبِّ إِنَّكُمْ O oh my Lord, my people have abandoned the Qur'an. From the tafsir of this is that they have said they have abandoned the Mus'haf. Not just reciting the Qur'an, but also the Mus'haf. Hamad ibn Salama. Hamad ibn Salama is not connected to the companions, but he's got a number of chains going to different companions. In one chain, which he narrates from somebody else, and narrates from somebody else, and then is connected to Umar ibn Khattab. Whenever he used to enter into his home, National Musaf Fakarafi. He used to open up the Mus'haf and he used to start reciting from it. Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, also from Hamad ibn Salama. Whenever he used to be with other people, whenever he used to socialize, whenever he used to be in the presence of others, he used to open up Nashar wal Mus'haf Fakarahu wa Fassara lahum. He used to open up the Mus'haf. So this is his gathering, this is how he used to socialize Abdullah ibn Mas'ud. He used to gather with his friends and they used to open up the Mus'haf. They used to recite from the Mus'haf and then he used to give tafsir from the Mus'haf. Hamad ibn Salama again narrates in a chain that goes back to Abdullah ibn Umar that whenever he used to return from, from work, إِذَا رَجَدَ أَحَدُكُمْ إِذَا رَجَدَ أَحَدُكُمْ مِنْ سُوْقِهِ If any one of you come home from work, whenever you come from the marketplace, فَلْيَنْشِرُ Mushaf وَلْيَقْرَى Then go home, open up the Mus'haf and read. And this is from the companions, but the later generations that came after the companions and those after them, Imam Ahmad, rahimahullah, he said, reciting from the Mus'haf is better than reciting from memory. And we have other narrations as well from others from the ulama, the salaf. So just can you keep this short? Ibn al Jawzi, however, he says, Whoever has got a Mus'haf in his house, he has to, whoever's got a Mus'haf in his house, he has to recite from it every single day. Even if it's slight. So my point here is, if a person is reciting the Qur'an and he wants to do it from a device, I don't want anyone to get paranoid about it. Yes, it is good for him to recite from the device. That is fantastic. The person is doing an act of worship. However, the mushaf cannot be abandoned. These are from the adab also of uh, the Qur'an and the relationship that the believer should have with the Qur'an. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he makes us of the people of the Qur'an, the people of the Mus'haf, and the people who understand it and implement it in a manner that is beloved to Allah.